now, right now. Okay. So the next thing that we do is measure, measure from nasian to amian again, um, over the top of the head. CZ is the central electrode, so we just make sure that that is in the center. And then when we're done with that, we fill up the syringe with electrode gel. And the first electrodes that we're going to put on are going to be two mastoid electrodes and then four um, facial ones around your eyes. And those are so that we can take out things like eye blinks and jaw movements because those um, are artifacts that we don't want in our data. Um, so those are just going to be attached with a little sticky tab and some electrode gel. And they are numbered one through six. And there's like a beautiful diagram on our whiteboard <laughs> that says where they go. <laughs> so the sticky tab has a hole, and that goes over the um, white part of the electrode. And the gel goes in the hole. So we just do them from one to six. So one. What is this for? These what are class? for your facial no, no, like. Oh, this is your intro nerve. So this one is going to go right behind your left ear, um, right on the mastoid bone. Are you asking this for this class? No, we're just doing it just for doing fun. For fun. Yes. yes. Wow. This one's going to go behind your right mastoid bone. Right outside your right eye. Let's take a little bit of time because you like to fall. Do you want to hold? Yeah, you get to And then right under your left eye. Okay, I'm going to come around just for a second to look at the positioning. And can you look this way just a moment so we can see the... Okay. Thanks. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is just attach um, the chin straps to the cap. So the short one goes on um, that side and the long one on this side. And just attached. Feel good, not too tight. All right. So then the next thing that we're going to do is fill the ports uh, in your cap with some electro gel. And then we're going to um, clip in. 32 electrodes. So the 32 lead says P32 1020 32A. So the electrode gel will probably feel um, a little cold on your head so that you're prepared. 
And we normally like to split it up, so one person does all the ones on the left, so all the odd numbers, and the other person does all the even numbers so on the right. So that two people can be filling the quartz at the same time. I'm going to have to like go home and take a shower after this? Uh, we will give you a towel to wipe the shell out of your hair. But you might want to uh, shower. But a shower is working. Because I literally just took a shower. Oh no. Yeah. I'm sure you could squeeze by. So it really does go a lot faster with two mm -hmm. technicians working. Especially if one of them is quick and a little slow. <laughs> so how many people are going to be seeing this video? Probably about four or five, I think. Wow. You'll be a star. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to ask, was I made for the camera? Right. Talk to Start practicing your autograph. That's what I would say. Now, in the, for the participant this afternoon, did you have the same problem with the facial electrodes? They stuck fine. Okay, so that's good. I, think they're sticking I don't well. know what it was. I think it depends on the person who you're putting them on and the person right. who's applying them. Because I like to press on them a little bit. So then we grab two more um, electrodes that are on their own lead, CMS and GRL, and those get plugged in. So once all of the electrodes are in, um, we take this little black box and move the sensor connected to the battery closer to the participant, and then we collect all of the electrode cords. Give them a good twist so they stay together. And then um, start plugging them in. We also like to tell the participant that um, it's an isolated it's system. Yes, so <laughs> there's no risk of any electrical shock. So you are safe. We found this. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you also have to plug the 32A into the A slot, or else it you're not going to get any readings. So learn that the hard way. <laughs> Uh, so then we turn on the monitor and go into the other room to um, switch the display from the experimental page to the ActiveView screen. Yeah. Well, like, tell me what yes, 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 yes. Do you have to tell him that you're pushing the button? Okay, so <laughs> in that room there's a little button that you can push to change the screen from the ePrime software to this ActiveView software. So what we're doing here is checking the offset of each electrode, and they like to be between positive and negative 25 millivolts. And so they all look good. good. Uh, so then we go and switch from the electrode offset page back to the, um, to the What is this measure? The offset of each electrode. Basically, how much noise it's uh, producing. Okay, you're great. Um, so here we're looking at the signals from each electrode. So if you want to blink three times in a row, 
So you can see those um, peaks that you generated. So those are some of the artifacts that we don't want in our experimental data. So when you do the experiment, it will prompt you to blink prior to the short little time trial that you're answering. Um, so try to blink when it tells you to and not to blink during the um, short trial. And then if you want to go ahead and clench down your jaw, so you can see that also generates a lot of noise in our signal, so please refrain from doing that um, during the actual experiment. When it says take a break, go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want to close your eyes and relax and pretend you're back on spring break. Um, so if you open your eyes, you see how the wave signal change a little bit. Your alpha waves aren't um, super strong, but there are a few right there. Okay. Um, so try to stay focused and alert because we will know if you are falling asleep That's on enough. us. Dang it. <laughs> so unless you have any other questions, everything looks good. Uh, that's probably from you. Yeah, that's probably just from you moving. Um, so just during the actual experiment, try to remain still and uh, see if everything's going straight now that you're not moving. So it's <laughs> just picking up on that. Um, if you have any other questions. Good. Okay, and then the last thing that we do is just to standardize um, the field of view. Uh, we like the screen to be 75 um, centimeters from the corner of the I so let's scoot the computer back. Mm -hmm. What happens if I do blank on that space? It's fine. Cool. Sometimes we can still use that, other times it's just it gets thrown out and that's that's just part of it. So that looks better. Alright, so we will go switch the screen back to the actual experiment and it will talk you through all the directions of what you need to do. Cool. Okay, hold on just a second. <laughs> 